All right, it's time for the next step in our man cave transformation. So last time we talked about space planning, where to put all of the large items, including the TVs, and we already relocated the outlets. So now it's time to get to installing those TVs. But how do you know which TV mount to use? Well, that really depends on your space and how you intend on using it. You have three main style choices to choose from for TV wall mounts. You've got your fixed or stationary mounts. They're low profile, but they don't allow for any adjustments. They work best when the TV is mounted right in front of the viewing area. Then you have tilt mounts. Those allow you to tilt the TV down about 15 degrees or so and work well for TVs that are mounted high on the wall. And then you have the full motion mount. Those allow you to do it all. Tilt up, down, left, right. They even allow you to pull the TV out from the wall, making them ideal for a space like ours with multiple viewing locations. All right, let's get started. So we should probably gather some tools. Hey Chuck, what do we need? Well, first we need our drill. We're gonna need a pencil. We're gonna need a screwdriver, a level, and a stud finder. So now we need to figure out exactly where to install the TV mount itself. How do we do that? Well, first we need to look at the studs. In most homes, they're gonna be about 16 inches apart. Here in the warehouse, we also have to deal with metal studs. Okay, so our install is a little bit different, but we're gonna walk you through the process as if we're installing into wood studs. And unlike our device mounts, TV mounts absolutely must be installed into at least one stud. Step one, locate the studs. All right, so what's the next step? Well, first we need to determine where we're gonna put the TV, where the studs are located, which direction you want the TV mount to fold, and how it attaches the TV. Yeah, but how do we figure that out? Great question. So this is a single stud wall mount. So it's really important to take into consideration which direction you're folding it, because it's gonna be off by about five inches. For example, if we put it on the wall in this direction, if it's on the same stud, it's gonna be off or not where we want it mounted. If we flip it the other direction, it's actually right where we want it. Okay, so that covered where we want to install the TV mount from like a left to right horizontal stance. But what about the height? How do we figure that part out? Well, many televisions actually have a visa pattern that's not going to be centered on the back. So that actually impacts the placement of your TV mount. For example, this one's actually got about 10 inches on the top versus in the bottom, it's only eight inches. And you have to take into consideration. Sounds like a bit of math. Lucky for us, we've already installed one. So we're just going to pull the measurements from over there. Most mounts come with a template so you don't have to hold up the heavy mount. Step two, determine mount location, level and mark holes. Wow, that was a lot. Hopefully it was the hardest part. So what's next? Well, now we have to drill some holes. So we're gonna start with a pilot hole first with a smaller bit so we get a more precise hole. Step three, drill the holes. Make sure to check your TV mount instructions to get the correct drill bit size. Our mount needs a 732nd bit. Now we're on to step four, install the wall plate. You can use a drill to get started, but once you get close, check to make sure everything's level and then hand tighten. Looks like we're ready for step five, install that back plate. Make sure you know which visa pattern to use. Most TV wall mounts come with additional arms for larger visa patterns. And we definitely need them for this TV because it's a 55 inch and the max size for the Gadgets Plus wall mount we're using. If you're working with a new TV, leave it in some of its packaging. It makes this process much easier. And don't forget, you have to hand tighten at the end. You don't want to cause any damage to that precious TV. It's that time, right? We're ready for step six to install the TV. Yep, and if the TV was any bigger, I'd definitely ask for help. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be of any help. TVs are mounted and everything is really coming together. Next time we're going to install all of the devices with our hide it mounts. Be sure to follow us to see all of the man cave transformation.